Hello and welcome back. And in this very short video, I want to focus on another aspect of the tick speedometer, which is perhaps a little less obvious, less intuitive perhaps, but nevertheless equally powerful. And that's trading using volume. Because what the indicator delivers is it allows us to blend all the benefits of trading using volume price analysis with all the advantages of trading on a tick chart. And the reason it does this is because the indicator itself is a time to tick converter. Here you can see on the left we have the time based chart, the 5 minute ES, with the indicator below. And on the right we have our tick chart equivalent. And on this occasion it's set to 314 tick, the actual. Now what this means in practice is that if we are a volume based trader we can apply traditional volume price analysis techniques where we're looking at the volume bar and the associated price action and interpreting it accordingly. But equally we can trade off the tick chart with all the advantages of trading with market momentum that a tick chart gives us. So we're blending together two approaches, if you like. We're blending together volume price analysis on the time-based side of the equation, but actually trading on the tick chart with all the advantages that has to offer us. And the single reason we can do that is because the indicator is matching the time-based chart with the correct tick chart. In other words, apples with apples. We're not matching apples with pears. Here we are matching apples with apples. So we are setting our tick chart according to our time-based chart through the indicator itself, which is acting as the time to tick converter. So it allows us to take a volume-based approach using volume price analysis with all the advantages on that side of the chart and then overlaying that onto our trading side using the tick chart with all the advantages of trading using a tick based approach. So it blends the two together perfectly. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Look forward to seeing you joining us in the next one where we're going to take a closer look at the histogram element of the indicator itself. So thanks for watching. See you soon and bye for now.